up in the center of the ring. Neither man. TJ Ball says he's the big man on campus. And Jacoby Boykins and the referee both going to need eyes in the back of their head because Bob Keller looms large at ringside. Lock up again. Boykins now. Almost had Balls back in the corner. Balls got the knee in, ducks the clothesline. And Boykins takes down a big man with a shoulder tackle. And now, shoulder tackles, Balls to the floor. And Jacoby Boykins is fired up. And Bob Keller over to check on Balls. And Boykins is going after him. And now Boykins and Balls going at it on the outside. Boykins puts him into the railing. Ball's fighting back now. These are just two big men. This is not bubble wrestling. Boss does enough to break the count. It slams Boykins right into that ring apron. Big shot by TJ Boss. Perhaps one of the hardest choppers in independent wrestling. Boykins blocked that chop and Ram Boss's head into the ring apron. Boykins gets Boss back in the ring. Both men trying to prove that they're the best, best big man in the Southeast. And Boykins with a big clothesline there. This crowd solidly behind him. Oh, and there's Keller getting involved. Grab Boykin's leg. Referee all over there offering a warning. Boykin's has words for Keller. And there's TJ Boss. Like a tank. Just took Boykin's out. Again, Keller with the distraction. Boss with a kick. Both of these men, incredible athletes for their size. Not just two of the toughest men, but incredibly athletic. And TJ Ball showing that mean streak. Just draking Boy draping Boykins. And Keller now joining in on the fun. Choking Boykins on that middle rope. Referee didn't see it, but this crowd here sure did. As he's in the corner, just driving that shoulder right into the midsection. Lifted Boykins off the mat there. Boykins 
Boykins trying to fight back. Boss blocked that right hand. Now kicks to the leg. And he has been trashing Boykin, trash talking Boykin since before the bell rang. Drives him right back into the corner. Oh, big double slap to the chest. Boss, one of the hardest chops in wrestling. And he gave Boykins a double dose of it there. Off the ropes now, big kick to the head. Rolls him over, here's the cover. Just a two count. Keller and Boss unhappy with that count. And this match may come down to who makes a mistake. Who can hit the big move? Gotta put themselves in line for a shot at the heavyweight title. And Boykins has the big man up. Big Samoan drop. And TJ Boss felt that. You could tell by the look on his face, but that took a lot out of Boykins. Ref starts his count. Both men down. Keller employing TJ Boss to get up to his feet. Who can get to their feet first to gain an advantage in this match? Both men to their knees. Both men slowly getting up. About the same time, false. Right hand is blocked. Boykins blocked it again and had a big right hand of his own. Boykins with another right hand. Oh, and Boss just raked the face of Boykins. Boss shoves him into the corner. And there's that big spine buster. TJ Ball showing his strength right there. He got the big man up and just slammed him down with one hand. Cover now by Boss. Hook the inside leg. And Boykins was able to get the outside leg on the ropes. Great ring awareness by Boykins there. Keller tried to get the, ring, the uh, leg off the ropes. And the ref saw what he did there. Boss now setting up for a big lariat maybe. Boykins ducks. Boykins picks up Boss for a slam. The ref doesn't see the cover. Ref arguing with Keller. Boykins hit the big Bama slam. Boykins now over to, with words for Keller. Again, the referee was arguing with Keller. Didn't see any of it. Now watch out, Boykins. TJ Boss getting up to his feet. There's another spine buster. Here's the cover. And that one was enough. In the center of the ring, Boykins couldn't get to the ropes. And TJ Boss was able to get the three count after Bob Keller distracted the referee. Boykins hit the big Bama slam. But again, the referee distracted by Bob Keller. And Bob, Bob Keller now with a kick to Boykins. Now choking the big man as T.J. Balls holding the referee back. T.J. Balls gently encouraging the referee to get out of the ring. And now T.J. Balls and Bob Keller left in the ring. He is victorious in this battle of the big men. But he did have some help. As long as TJ Balls has Bob Keller in his corner, he is going to be hard to overcome. 
and viral pro or any promotion around the country again. It's your winner, TJ Ball over Jacoby Boyd. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am backstage with a very special guest, Mr. TJ Boss of END. END, TJ, welcome to Sweetwater Park Gym. It's been a long time coming. I'm finally back here in Viral Pro Wrestling, like I said I would. But furthermore, what you should be asking is, what's my agenda to take out Shane Hex? What is your agenda to check out Shane Hex? My agenda is to take him out and become your Viral Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Point blank, period. I am the best big man here in Vile Pro Wrestling, and I am the man that can take out Shane Hex and become Vile Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion by any means necessary. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for joining us on the second edition of Toxic, the best of Viral Pro Wrestling. I'm your host, Caleb Stovall, and you just saw an awesome contest between Jacoby Boykins and TJ Boss. TJ Boss making it clear that he has his sights set on the Viral Pro Wrestling Championship. And speaking of the VPW Championship, our next contest is part of a tournament to determine a number one contendership for that very prestigious title. And it features do or die Chip Day versus the working team captain, Owen Knight. Let's check out right now this classic contest from Viral Pro Wrestling. Oh man, really? Right, PJ Sinnenberg, the man with the uh, greatest beard I have ever seen. I, I'd rather we go ahead and move on to wrestling myself. Gee, oh, let the man talk. I'm so sick of hearing him talk, man. Sure he's, maybe, got, maybe, maybe, maybe. he's got some good stuff to say. I'm Not sure. really. Oh, man. It's like the same thing every week. All right, I guess if we have to. Once again, suspenders, yay. <laughs> well, I think it's uh, fashion. Good evening, Georgia. Thank you, thank you. I come tonight with a challenge to the bad news. If anything happens to anyone in life, the rest of the video is no different. And tonight, with the unforeseen circumstances, the same thing will not be here tonight. Is that part is subject to change? This is 
not any different. And you can rest assured knowing that we still have your opponent for the evening. In fact, go ahead and bring on Owen Knight's opponent for the evening. Match in progress. We got me, Kenny J, here with just Stony Cannon again. Owen Knight up against again. Uh, excuse me, up against Chip Day. And this is the opening match of our tournament round tonight, right? Yes. Right. Originally, this was scheduled to be Owen Knight taking on Hex, but due to circumstances uh, beyond our control that we don't even know, Hex is not here tonight. Yeah, so hopefully Hex is doing all right. You know, I, shit, shout out I to hope him. not. I'd rather never uh, see him again. Well, that's that's only like your opinion, man. Oh, all right. What I like about I this match. In the chest, kick to the neck. What I like about this match. Mm. What's that? Owen Knight. That's it. That's all I like about this match. Yeah. He's got quite a history with VPW. He's been here several times with Kiara Hogan. Actually, he was in the uh, intergender tag match at the previous show where he teamed up with Kira against Lenny Stratton. And, and, and you know what? And a lock to win this tournament. He's never been beaten. Well, Day's coming off top of the uh, turnbuckle. Whoa! He just grazed him. Chip Day. Yep. Yeah. Chip Day. Been around for a long time. A lot of folks uh, believe he is a criminally underrated wrestler. I personally think that was that's criminally idiotic statement. Oh uh, no, it seems like he's got quite the talent. Uh, yeah. Talent for maybe uh, I mean he's got Owen crying for uncle. Uh, well so. uh, clearly not, the match is not over, so <laughs> All right. both wrestlers trying to collect themselves. Picking themselves back up. Owen yelling at his fans, and he goes down. Oh. Ooh, Chip is just laying the smack on this guy. Kicks to the face, another two count. Hmm. You can just hear those screams of agony, can't you? <laughs> Knight is in hey, some serious you're pain. Funny, right? <laughs> I, you know. I, I try when I can. Yeah, yeah. I don't well, know. It looks like Knight's in trouble. Oh, he's got a. Mm. I think when this match yeah, is over, it'll be the fans will be screaming. Oh, ropes. That's, what's gonna happen. Oh. That's ring smarts right there. That's <laughs> why he's never been beaten. But I mean, you've never been in the ring. I mean, what do you know about never being beaten? Got a point there. Yeah, yeah, it's so easy behind the mic, isn't it? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I think a low blow, really? I mean. Oh, knocked him onto his back. Oh, we're flipping around. Oh. All right. Knight going. Oh. He, oh. Then turn around on Knight. Oh, you can just see the spit fly on that one. A beautiful hit from Chip Day. Oh! Oh, hit him right in the chunky waiting. monkey right there. This could be it. Yeah, 
down on his back. Pin, one, two. Still not over. Flipping around, he's gonna try again. And another two count. I tell you, he's just uh, he's starting to come off like a bit of a broken record here. These guys are dazed. <laughs> I've, I've kind of, you know, what I'm curious about, it looks chip day. I mean, when I look at him, I just see somebody that doesn't spend too much time at the concession stand. Yeah, you, know, you, you know, you can't judge a wrestler base completely on their physique. Well, I'm not just thinking about the physique. I mean, <laughs> what, what's with the pop punk shorts? Is he like emo or something? <laughs> Got him down We're on his done. Back again. Now we can go to concessions. Oh no! Still not over. Oh. <laughs> looks like uh, looks like he he got a few extra chips. <laughs> Luck. Luck is in his corner. Mm. You know, I thought you were supposed to like be elsewhere during this match. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. I thought I thought some some kid was supposed to be here with me. Yeah, that's all right. I'm here instead. Yay. Did you bring popcorn? I did not. No? Did you bring M&M's? No, because I'm sitting here. I'm not at the concession stand. Really? Nice trying to uh, kind of rally up the crowd a bit. I mean, don't you know it usually costs money to hang out with me? Or snacks. Oh. All right. Chips still got some fight left in him. Chips would have been nice. I could have handled chips. We'll, have, we'll get some later. Oh, yeah. Some fancy footwork from Chip Day as he tr tries to get back on his feet. Huh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, hit him nice again. Loud hit from Knight. Come on, hit him again. Oh. <laughs> Took him down with another kick to the face. That I'm, seems to I'm, be one of Chip's favorite moves. I'm surprised Chip Day can even get that kind of air. Two count, okay. Both of these wrestlers just keep getting twos. Have you have you ever seen like an individual sweat so much in an air conditioning room like Chip Day? I mean, I'm sweating and I'm just sitting here, so I can understand a man jumping and bouncing around in a ring might be drenched. I mean, the last time I seen something that glazed was at oh Dunkin' Donuts. All right, that's it. That's it. Owen Knight's about to move on in this tournament, which is a good thing. Looks like Chip's still got a little bit of moxie left. Oh, another kick. These guys are just kicking each other in the faces. That's about been half this match. All right, here comes another two Ben. Oh, wow, that's like two horrible matches in a row. Yeah. Oh, Jim Pitts, Owen Knight to move on to the next round of the tournament. We'll just have to uh, see who Jim will be facing at the end of the night to find out who's going to be taking on Chris May. Well, right now it sounds to me like like a good cause to leave early. Uh, there's plenty of action left, Stoney. Well, I'm just thinking Chip Day in the, in the main event, that's just not right. You never know, he might be saving some of his best stuff for later. Wow, what an amazing contest between those two athletes. And that's just a small sample of what you get each and every time you attend VPW events. And Chip Day would go on to advance to the finals of that tournament where he would face the revolutionary Darius Lockhart. And right here next week on Toxic, you will see in its entirety Darius Lockhart versus Chip Day day. Well, that's all the time we have for you here on this edition of Toxic, the best of viral pro wrestling, but make sure you join us each and every Sunday morning at 1 a.m. right here on WFXG Fox 54. And if you would like to find out more information about our upcoming events, visit vpw.ticketbud.com to reserve your tickets now. And if you want to find out more information about viral pro wrestling, join us on Facebook at Facebook at Viral Pro Wrestling. Well, that's it for you here on this edition of Toxic, the best of Viral Pro Wrestling. My name is Caleb Stovall, and make sure you get infected.
VPW would like to take a moment to thank the following sponsors. Allegiance Inc. Suplexes and Microphones. Powell Construction. Precision Maintenance Inc. And Professional Carpet Systems. If you'd like to become a VPW sponsor, contact us at infectingthecsra at gmail.com.